Hey guys, welcome back to the Hack Guy channel. Today we've got another exciting video lined up for you. We're going to see how we can optimize BlueStack for the best performance possible. So let's get started. After installing BlueStack, if you're using Windows 11, follow these steps to ensure smooth operation. First, go to Settings, then Privacy and Security. From there, navigate to Windows Security and open it. Scroll down until you find Device Security. Access the settings and disable memory integration. It's crucial to have memory integration turned off in order to create 32-bit instances. Once you have Disable Memory Integration, open the BlueStack application. Then click on Multi-Instances Manager and click on Instances Further select Create Fresh Instances. Choose the 32-bit NoGet option and click Next. For CPU cores, select Four Cores. We will cover memory allocation later in the video. Set the resolution as shown in the video. Keep the Abbey settings as it is. Set the performance model to high performance and the DP2 through 320. Finally, click on create. Once you've successfully created the 32-bit instance, it's time to open the app player. Navigate to the menu located here. Then go to settings. Let's start by optimizing the performance settings. Keep the four core setting as it is. I will show how to set this to 10 GB further in the video. If you have low end PC with less than 16 GB RAM, then skip this process and select four GB or two GB A's per your PC specification. Select the high performance option and make sure to enable the high frame rate. Adjust the frame rate. Adjust the frame rate according to your monitor's capabilities. Next, move on to the display settings. Choose the options shown in the video tutorial. Now, let's focus on the graphic settings. Set the graphic engine module to performance and select open goal as the graphics renderer. For the interface renderer, choose DirectX. Moving on to Ast, Texture, Beta, set it to Hardware and enable the Hardware Decoding option. Don't forget to save your changes. In the Preferences section, you have the option to allow BlueStack to connect to Discord. If you don't need this feature, feel free to disable it. Now, let's talk about the Android sound while typing. If you find it distracting, it's best to disable it. Additionally, you can choose to disable the option that allows Blue to show as ads. Lastly, disable the remaining options as well. Don't forget to save your changes. In phone settings, choose Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and network provider as Geo and Save It. Disable the remaining options as well. We're almost done with the optimization process for BlueStack. Now to increase the RAM to 10B for the 32-bit instance. First, make sure you have more than 16B of RAM. Go to File Explorer, then this PC and click on the C drive and click on the C drive. Next, click on View and select Show Hidden Items. Look for the program data folder and open it. Inside, you'll find the BlueStack Next folder. Open the BlueStack config file. Now, hit curl F and search for this line. This line should be present in the description, or you can simply search for RAM.
You'll find the instance of Nugget32 RAM. Change it to 10,240 and save the file. When you open Bluestack next time, the changes will take effect. By the way, if you've watched the video up until this point, it means you liked it. So why not consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and family? That way they can also enjoy the optimized Bluestack experience. See you in the next video. Take care 